As leaders, it really is in our interest to listen to members of our team, whether at home or at the office, when they express their dreams. We want to encourage them to explore and to play with their creative potential. Through listening and helping them determine how to make their dreams a reality, we can help them to discover what they're good at, what their passions are, and what steps they need to take to move towards their dreams. They then come to believe through your belief in them that they can, in fact, succeed. And beyond that, they actually develop a passion for success because they see their possibilities and they see that they can make their dreams become a reality. When we help others to believe in their success despite their failures and not being supported by others, we actually support them through these challenges. We give them permission to persevere. We can convey to them that they will only fail if and when they quit. We show them how to build relationships, and then we show them how to sell their dreams to the world so that they can convince others in their life that they have the passion, that they have the willingness, and they have the capability to fulfill their dreams. Through this, they will have the building blocks for accomplishment. When they are shown how to build their life through the establishment and achievement of their goals and that they are in fact capable life builders, they will be far more motivated and likely to succeed. There are a lot of people who are afraid of failure. By allowing for failure and even embracing it, we're able to use it as a stepping stone and a tool for teaching. When we fight failure, what we get is more failure because we block further communication about what caused it. When we use failures as the really valuable lessons that they are and we build off of them, achieving success is far, far more likely. It's also important that we establish clear, specific, and reasonable boundaries for others in our lives to work within. Don't we all want and need to know what our boundaries are? I remember when I was a teenager thinking that I wanted to be told what was acceptable and what was not. In all honesty, that hasn't changed at all. When boundaries are established that define what limits are set for gaining success, it becomes clear what is important and we spend our time fighting only the important battles. We can then focus on working with these very important people in our lives to help them to choose, to plan, and to accomplish the success goals that they want to achieve while staying within established boundaries.